Okay, now. Joker's voice was muffled under the rubble, but I do believe he was trying to tell Batman how he got his scarf. It's strange because I don't remember him wearing one. As Batman continued to build, the Joker asked him, Why so serious? To which Bruce replied, I'm Batman. I'm always serious. I don't think that fully answered his question. Gotta be able to get up here. Gordon. See, I don't know if this is... Oh, we almost had it. Looks like we have to go this way. Hey, 
Let's get it. Maybe I can stay and stand on the railing. This little. Oh, see now I can't. This is my first time, guys. Sorry. He doesn't have a suit changer. See, it looks like it gets on there, but get close to the closer to the edge <sighs> see sorry guys I'm not complaining I'm just trying to figure this out maybe if I stand there jump and then glide Gotta get up there. Maybe if I can. No, you can't. Gordon. Can he do anything? Do I get up here now? Or do I... And there we go. We got it, guys. We don't know what happened, but we got it. We got it, guys. Sorry about that. So in the total, there's about 80,000 studs on this level. I remember Batman asking the Joker why he was wearing a nurse's uniform. He babbled something about fan service, which, to tell you the truth, still puzzles me somewhat.
Well, that came out as well as could be expected. Gordon's made commissioner, Joker's in prison, and Bruce managed to save half of Rachel's boyfriend. That Joker, he was a tough nut. I have to say, of all the people in Lipstick Bruce has been up against, he was definitely the hardest. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to get back and put the tea on. Master Wayne will be starving after all that. Well, I don't know. He can defuse a thermonuclear warhead, but can't grill his own fish fingers. Or pick his socks up off the bedroom floor, for that matter. <clears throat> okay, guys, that was the Dark Knight trilogy. It wasn't really a trilogy. It was more like a few scenes from this. From the Dark Knight, um, Rises, I think. We didn't get Adam West in peril. He was there, but we couldn't get him. Well, we got two of them. We got two out of four. Back to Watchtower. Okay, now let's... Do the second DLC. Well, not second. We did Dark Knight Rises, we did the Arrow, we did the Squad, we did Bizarro World. We only have these two. Let's do Man of Steel. Krypton. Once a great planet now stands on the brink of destruction. I, Maximus, uh, Jor-El, must try to save my son, Cal, by sending him off-planet with all our civilization's genetic knowledge hidden in his tiny baby pants. If I can get home and put him inside our last pod, he'll be safe. As long as we put enough milk in with him, that should do the trick. It can't fail. Uh, General Zod. He wants to take over the planet, which is falling to bits. What a loon. Ah, my trusty space dragon. Huh. Senseless waste. Kelix, you drongo, help me get inside. Okay. I returned to find my home, besieged by General Zod and his fighters. Now we're playing... I can't stand uninvited house guests. As Superman's father... You know, little robot guy. Remember, collect all the studs. The studs are important. Studs are important. The front door was locked using a puzzle so complex that only a machine like Keelix could possibly ever solve it. I well, hope Lara okay, and Cal are still 